mushies. I absolutely love them. All types of varieties, including these gorgeous flat mushrooms. Flat mushrooms are actually the same as button mushrooms. They're just more mature and they are meaty indeed. They're fantastic in autumn, winter, but they're also great in summer. So I'm going to show you one of the recipes I love to do on my barbecue or in here I'm going to be doing it on my grill. So preheat your barbecue or grill, really high heat. I'm not going to peel them. If there's a little dirt on them, which there probably won't be, you just can brush them. One thing you don't want to do is wash them because they are like sponges. They all also take on loads of flavour and mushrooms and butter are best friends. So I've just got some melted butter here. I'm just going to brush the butter all over the mushy. Other flavours that go so nicely with mushrooms, garlic, parsley, loads of nuts. In fact, they're so versatile, they go with a lot of things. And I'll just do a few more brushing on all sides. I'll also season this with some salt and pepper. Lots of salt and pepper for this. So freshly cracked over the top and some salt. Okay, we'll turn them over and do the same on the other side. Okay, we'll place them onto the hot grill, cap side up, and I'll just pop on a few more. Right, while they're grilling, let's get on to the puree. This is a bean puree, just some canned cannellini beans. You could also use any type of white bean you like. I've drained them and I've washed them well into a jug. I'll also add some acidity to this. You can use some vinegar or some good old lemon for some freshness. Good squeeze in there. And some good quality extra virgin olive oil. So a good glug of that just to bind the whole thing together. Now, if it's too thick, by all means, you can add just a splash of water. I'll also need a pinch of salt. Okay, blend that together. All right, this is looking good. This is the right consistency of the bean puree. Now, back to our mushies. Oh, they smell so good. Let's turn them over. Oh, look at that. See that caramelisation? That's because the pan is nice and hot. You want your pan to be hot so the mushrooms don't stew in this case. We want them to get that really nice, smoky, woody flavour. All right, I'm going to give them a few more minutes on the other side and then we'll take them off and cool them slightly. So lovely char marks on the caps of the mushrooms. We'll take them off and they can just rest there for a moment while I get on to the pesto. Now you can use basil pesto, goes really nicely with mushrooms, or a rocket pesto, which is lovely and peppery. When I'm blending this, I like to start with the liquids. Just makes it a little easier to blend. So good glug of extra virgin olive oil. We want about one to two tablespoons. We'll see how it goes. We'll taste it, see if it needs some more pinch of salt and we need some lemon, a good squeeze of lemon. And usually with a basil pesto you'd use pine nuts, pistachio nuts are a wonderful substitute. In they go. Some garlic, now that is one giant garlic, we don't need all of that so I'll just add half of it. Garlic can sometimes be overpowering in pesto so just be quite subtle with it. A few sprigs of parsley, a small handful of that. Leave some because we will use that for our garnish. In it goes. And rocket leaves. So we'll just pack that in there. A sprinkling of parmesan cheese. Okay. And I'll just blend this until it's quite smooth. And that is the perfect pesto and it smells fantastic. I love that vibrant green colour. Take the blade out and let's plate up. So I like to start with the puree, a generous spoonful of that onto the plate and spread that out. 
You can imagine when you eat this, you get a nice meaty mushroom and you can scoop up that gorgeous puree. In fact, a white bean puree is a fantastic substitute for any type of mashed potatoes or polenta. It is really delicious and you can warm it up if you like. I'm going to serve mine at room temperature. So for our mushies, I'm just going to cut them in half. I really want to show off those gorgeous gills. So we want to keep them quite large, not in small little pieces. Okay. And we'll pop them in and around. We'll add one more. And for that pop of colour, our rocket pesto will just drizzle over the top. Look at that. It's looking good. Finally, because I do have some extra rocket leaves, we'll just pop that in and around. And our parsley leaves, a few sprigs. That is a gorgeous way to present mushrooms. If you haven't tried barbecuing or grilling mushrooms, give it a go. It makes such a difference. It really emphasises their gorgeous, smoky, woody flavour. That is a superb dish.